What's up? My name is Jay and I am a Christian creative. Assuming this goes out when it's supposed to, today is my 34th birthday. So happy birthday to me. I am married. My wife and I are celebrating four years of marriage soon. We are expecting our first child any day now. I have my own business called Jay Heisman Productions. I am the man, the face behind the Christian creative. I have five siblings. I have four sisters-in-law and yeah, that's that. A couple years ago, I really felt like God was talking to me about the Christian creative. That was the name that God gave me, the Christian creative. And the whole purpose behind it was to interview, to encourage, to highlight Christian creativity. Not to say that there, are, there aren't other people that are creative in the world that aren't Christians, but I really felt like, or I really felt like God was telling me to highlight the Christian creative, to highlight those who are creative in the Christian world. Uh, because there are so many people in the Christian world who go unnoticed, but have creative gifts. Or there are so many people who are Christian, but don't believe that they are creative. So the whole purpose, again, was to, to put that spotlight on those people who have creative gifts, whether you're a musician, whether you sing, whether you're a photographer, a videographer, whether you paint, uh, wh whether you mind, like it doesn't matter what you do, whether you cook, we're all creative in our own right. Uh, some of us may feel like we're not as creative as others, but and some of us, some people may feel like they're not creative at all. But at the end of the day, God created us and he made us all creative. So, yeah, the purpose behind it was to, to highlight each individual. OK, so how I envision the Christian creative going this year in 2020 is I envision, well, one, interviewing a lot more people, people who. I don't know. In the first year, I mostly interview people that I know. So in this year, I want to interview even more people that I don't know. Um, I love to have an event where we can bring a bunch of creatives together, uh, no matter what their gifting is, no matter what they do, but bring creatives together and maybe have it like an open mic or just an open forum space where um, kind of like a vendor event, but just also a space for creatives to to do whatever it is that they do. Uh, I used to have an event back in the day called the Sound Lounge, where it was an open mic, but we also had uh, different people come in, do comedy, do spoken word, sing, do whatever. So kind of take that format from the Sound Lounge and plug that into the Christian creative and do something with that. Um, I have t-shirts that are coming very soon. Uh, so I'm really excited about that. And that's all I'm going to say right now. But just expect a lot more in 2020 from the Christian creative than you did in 2019. Uh, my story, I am from Alexandria, Virginia, from a place called The Highway. Uh, man, when I was a little kid, I used to get picked on, used to get bullied a lot. And then once I became a teenager, more so around 14, we moved to a, new na to a new neighborhood and I told myself I would never allow myself to get bullied again. Uh, I had actually grown, which was good for me, but I also had younger siblings. So I always told myself I never wanted them to be treated how I was treated. So I always made sure to protect them, and, but also stand up for myself too, to make sure that I wasn't bullied anymore. Um, by the time I was 17, 18, uh, my grades were pretty bad in school. And I was just finding myself hanging out more and more uh, with the guys in the neighborhood, not doing what I was supposed to be doing in school. Um, I just looked at it recently, actually. I think my GPA at the end of junior year was like 1.5 or something like that. Um, so I was really on a fast track to nowhere. Uh, when I was 18, Right around my 18th birthday, a friend of mine, my boy Vaughn, his mom asked me when I was gonna go with them to church. And 
I was just like, uh, I'll, I'll go Sunday. And she said, okay, I'm gonna hold you to that. So that Sunday was Easter Sunday. I went and uh, honestly, I never went back. Or I mean, I went back, but I never looked back. And for me, I think it was the fellowship that kept me there because it wasn't an instant transformation. I gave my life to Christ like a month later, but for me, it still wasn't like an instant transformation. It was still another two years and some change before I really felt like I needed to, to change my life, before I really felt God tugging on me and turning from hanging out in the streets, doing whatever to, hey, maybe I need to get serious about this. And from that moment forward, it kind of just seemed like it was always just me and God, per se. I had friends who were going to church and I always hung out with different people from different churches, but I always felt like it was just me and God to an extent. And um, I used to sing in church choirs. I used to be a Sunday school teacher, a uh, vacation Bible school teacher. Uh, I became a youth leader. I was a youth minister, um, done sound. And now currently I am the lead photographer and videographer at my church. And that's that. If you want to hear more stories, I have a brand new series that I'm releasing soon called Stories of My Life. And that's on my YouTube page, Jay Highsmith Productions. So you can find me on Instagram, on Facebook at jhphoto486. Or you can just type in Jay Highsmith Productions on Instagram or Facebook and you'll find me. My website is jhighsmithproductions.com. YouTube, Jay Highsmith Productions. Go subscribe to my page. Hit that bell to stay notified. Uh, my Instagram for The Christian Creative. I have actually Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter for The Christian Creative is Christian, C-R-8-I-V-E. That's Christian, C R eight. I V E. Um, I also have a podcast with my brother and my sister Aurelia. Uh, we have a podcast called Seated Discussions. We are on Instagram and Twitter at, well, on Instagram at Seated Discussions. On Twitter, it's C T E D Discussions. And we are on all platforms. You can find us on all platforms. And I think that's it. If there's anything else I'm forgetting, y'all will see it somewhere in this video. We all have something to offer. It doesn't matter what you do, whether you cook, whether you sew, uh, whether you write, uh, whatever you do, we're all creative in some way. Some Sometimes we just don't look at ourselves and realize that we are creative. But again, God has created us and he has created us to be creative. Uh, how we speak to people or how we do different things, are it's, it's all creative. So no matter what you do in life, just know that you are creative, that God created you to be creative. And we're not meant to, to hold on to those things. I often think about the scripture where it talks about the one with the five talents, the one with the uh, two and the one with the one. The one with the five went out and produced five more. The one with the two went out and produced two more, but the one buried it. So, and God wasn't happy with that. So don't bury your creative gifts. Get out there and do something with it. Even if you do it just for you and you don't do it for anybody else, it's okay. God will be pleased with, uh, God will be pleased with what it, whatever it is that you do. And if you don't believe you're creative or if you don't know what uh, your creative gifts are, then just ask God to show you. And that's my final thoughts.